Well, this is wild. Well, this is wild here. I don't know if this is smoke or well, what the heck this is. I think it's probably like clouds. Although they did say like Canadian smoke was coming back. So I don't know. The van's back. It was out all day. We were in Westchester County. We were in Queens, the Bronx. Where else did we go, Uncle Sam? We went to Wappinger Falls. We went to Hopewell Junction, Goshen, uh, Rock Hill. It's a busy day today. All over the place. Oakland, New Jersey. Tuckahoe, New York. Stamford, Connecticut. We've been all over the place delivering beef and pork. So check us out. You guys know the drill. Anyway, I heard Franny had some babies. So we're going to go check out her piglets. This guy is crazy. What a day. And we got some hay today. I have to get about 450 bales before the fall. So I really got to get this going and I got to get hustling on it. But hay is so damn expensive these days. Everybody knows that the first cutting of hay was not a good one. So they're gouging. You can see a few rolls we got over there. We're going to place those throughout the field. And hopefully we can uh, get a bunch more. Look at that. Pretty, pretty wild. Big skies. We were spreading some manure today on the fields. But our spreader got jammed up. So tomorrow we have to do a little bit of a welding job. <clears throat> so we could start spreading the rest of that pile that you could see in the distance. Hey, piggers. So it smells like, well, it smells like manure over here, but I guess it's a farm. So what are you going to do? Well, Freddie's been sp spreading that all day. Hey, piggers. These are some pigs that were growing up. It rains, so they're looking for worms and they're looking for whatever they can get their hands on or mouths on. And there's Franny's piglets. I don't want to bother her, but I don't know if you can see it. They're in there. Resting. I'll have to take a better look tomorrow. But I heard she had nine. So that's a good day. She's a good mom. She's got some nice ones. So, more piglets. More piglets on the way. It's a good day. Well, I guess whatever was here just cleaned up that fast because now it's clear. You saw it. I know you guys, I know you saw those clouds and I don't really know where they went. Hey, pigs. Hey, pigs. Hey, pigs. Hey, piggers. That fence is snapping. You can hear it. That means something's on it. I think I found the culprit because... I think I did, but say hello, everybody. Say hello to the pigs. We have a bunch of Berkshires here. Some, we have a Hereford there. We have a Duroc. We got a mixed, everybody's mixed here for the most part. Duroc spotted. We got them all. And there's more over there, more over there, and there's more over there. We got pigs everywhere around here. So if you like pork, or you want to do a pig roast, reach out to Freedom Farms. This is one of the first tractors we got here. This is a John Deere 4020-1965. And it runs like an absolute beauty. So, we love it. No electric tractors here at Freedom Farms. Can't have that. We are going to enjoy our fossil fuels here because that's what you need to do a good job and, and tend to the land. And that's what we're about, tending to the land. And this land here is kind of interesting because we had the cows have to, they had to pass through here in order to get onto the other field. So we had them in here the other day and they, they grazed it down quite a bit. It's wet over here because we just had some rain and you can see how this is long and then that's short. And that's long, and then over there is short. And they just went to town 
on all those good grasses that they liked. And we let them stay here all night. They clipped the tops. They didn't eat it down too much. So now it'll grow for a couple of weeks. And then when we woke up in the morning, they were all standing at that gate that was closed and they were ready to cross the street. So they, uh, they let us know that they were ready. So good for them. Cows know what they want. And now they're crushing our other fields, which we've been stockpiling now for a couple of months. All right. Well, I'm gonna go now. Just wanted to do a continuous video today and share the farm with everybody tonight after dinner. Little little pasture walk solo. Come on out here and see everybody. Make sure everybody's doing okay and check out this amazing sky, which is pretty pretty cool. So we uh we're we're enjoying it. We're enjoying it out here. You know life can get very complicated at times and when you come out here and you watch the animals you realize how simple it really is it's basics the animals are are so relaxed they're so calm except when they're hungry they get a little bit excited but for the most part they're very very nice and they're very sweet and we enjoy spending time with them and when we started the farm <clears throat> what we said was animals first it's always got to be about the animals first. So, see? a oh, little rowdy. And, you know, so many farmers, they make it about themselves first. It's always about them. You know, and they put the animals second. And their practices match that. So, for us, we're out here every day. We're moving them. We're always thinking about how we can set up the land to maximize the animal experience. And maximize, uh, you know, their output. So... It's, uh, it's pretty cool, and it's pretty fun, and it's pretty enjoyable. And it's really great when your customers can see and taste the difference in the meats that we provide them. You know, these are not big CAFO facilities that we use for our, for our cows. They're all out there across the street doing their, doing their grazing. It's hard to see. And then these guys are out. Everybody's out. We just want them to be outside and living in an environment that that is well suited for them. So that's the whole idea here. Our chickens are raised outside. Our egg layers, chickens are raised outside. Our turkeys are going to be arriving soon. They're raised outside. These guys are all raised outside. That's how they're supposed to live. So we don't believe in trapping animals in barns for a lifetime. It's not good, it's not healthy, and it certainly doesn't provide um, great value to the consumer, which is the end, the end user. So, anyway, we're just trying to preserve history here in Green New York. Oh, hit that hot wire. And uh, preserve history here in Green New York and keep this barn standing. We're going to work on it at some point in the future and continue to make it nice and develop so anyway appreciate you hanging out with us tonight this is just one of our straight videos i don't usually do one of these usually it's <clears throat> clipped and we show you all sorts of things but today's a slow day and uh and a good day so thanks for hanging out with us and if you enjoyed tonight's video subscribe give us some comments maybe a like and let us know what kind of videos you want to see and we'll do our best so thanks for hanging on the farm tonight and if you want some meat Go to wearefreedomfarms.com and we will send you some of our best. Have a good night. See ya.